Let resolution be your solution. I'm Ronson Leiter. I'd like to welcome you to our first film review. Well, Resolution Radio 2020. I'm with Mike Stand. Hi there. And Francisco Cumulo Nimbus. Hello, good afternoon, everybody. Hope you are all having a good time, and I hope you enjoy the broadcast. Thank you. And the film that we're reviewing is The Marvels, and I think it's uh, one of the latest MCU movies, and I hope you uh, have all had the opportunity to see it. If not, we'll try to give you some more detail about it and hope to get you a bit more excited. Mike, you've uh, watched a screening of the movie, haven't you? I sure have. Uh, stars uh, Brie Larson uh, as Carol Danvers. Uh, she plays uh, the, the lead character, I believe you would say. And she's supported by Tayona Paris, who plays Monica Rambeau. And Kamala Khan, who plays Iman Vellani. And Bar Ben... Dar Ben is, is played by Zoe Ashton. Zoe Ashton. Now, all these ladies are uh, perfectly fine, I guess, and uh, it's a it's a great uh, a great cast that we have there. But fortunately, there's Samuel L. Jackson as well. Are you trying to say uh, that you don't uh, like the, the 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 ladies in the in the in the movie? No, no, no. I, I'm certainly not. Uh, I'm not going that far. But uh, it is uh, reassuring to see. Uh, the solid performance of uh, Mr. Jackson there, he sort of... Oh, well, I have to say, I would like to draw your attention to one thing, you know. Uh, my mother, she... Maria, she was a woman? Right, uh, absolutely. Uh, do, do you not like your mother, uh, Mike? Well, I, I, I surely do, but... Uh, I, yeah, I mean, I, I know there's been some sort of backlash in the uh, movies. In the, my, uh, my cousin... Uh, 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 La Quenta, she is uh, she is very money conscious, but she is uh, she is a very nice uh, nice person. I, I don't doubt that there are plenty of nice ladies uh, in in the world by any stretch of the imagination, uh, but I just think that uh, I enjoy uh, movies like Superman when the hero of it uh, is a sort of a you know stand up uh, U.S. of A kind of character. The Superman is from the planet Krypton, and uh, I do believe it is a DC movie. Yeah, I, exactly. I may be getting my kind of wires crossed there. Anyway, this movie, uh, I think you'll find, is uh, is a tour de force. Uh, the uh, I don't know whether you, the viewers, think that it might be higher and faster and go further than any other movie experience you've had this year, but uh, perhaps it will. Uh, the director is Nia da Costa, which sounds uh, like a very nice and... Uh, uh, satisfying kind of coffee, uh, and the the runtime is one hour forty five minutes. Uh, Ronson, there, uh, did you get on with your mother? Well, I think that's rather a personal question. Uh, I, I I don't know how to answer that. Uh, I mean, we weren't exactly on first name terms. What What do you mean you're not on first name terms? Well, I called her mother. Uh, going back to the plot, uh, Carol Danvers. Uh, she gets her powers entangled with those of Kamala Khan and Monica Rambeau, forcing them to work together to save the universe. Save the universe, my word. Well, I will say this, it was better than She-Hulk. Uh, I mean, I found that movie very confusing. I mean, she's there uh, sometimes incredibly massive and, 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 and kind, of, kind of normal sized. She also goes green, you know. Yeah, well, you, you say green, but... The thing is, she's got the two desks there. What do you mean, the two desks? Well, they, they said that a lot of the special effects there were done with uh, forced perspective. So I imagine they had a big desk and a small desk for her to sit at and uh, stand near and possibly break and caref carelessly and clumsily while she had her powers. That's not very green, is it? Uh, not very, I mean, well, they did recycle it. Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, this movie is... Uh, is uh, full of uh, excitement and thrills and uh, and delights for those who are thrilled and excited and delighted by that kind of thing. So I think you should go and see it. Uh, I think uh, it's uh, it'll while away an afternoon uh, at least uh, at the runtime of one hour forty five minutes. 
Uh, whether you get yourself some popcorn or uh, 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 something noisy to eat to irritate people behind you, I mean, that's entirely up to you. Well, in conclusion, I hope this review has been uh, enlightening and that you've perhaps been encouraged to go and see this movie. Uh, we've given you as much information as this panel is capable of sharing. Uh, just for the record, I must say, I do actually get on very well with my mother. Uh, and uh, those rumours that you've heard around the place are absolutely and utterly untrue. There's, the movie is certificate PG-13. Uh, enjoy it with the family. I've been Ronson Leiter. Thank you for tuning in. Resolution Radio 2020 Movie Review. I make no apology myself for enjoying the work of Samuel L. Jackson. If you like this channel, like and subscribe our page. Share it with your friends. Uh, if you understand the underlying message here, which is about entertainment and fun, keep smiling, then continue to stay with us. I look forward to interacting with you in the future.